Uh, the Houston Police Department is investigating a report uh, of possible drugging at the festival. Speaking of security guards, one says he felt a prick on his neck. He passed out and was revived by the opioid antidote Narcan. Police say they found evidence of a needle mark on his neck. Our Paul Gerke is at our News Nation Smart Board to explain exactly what needle spiking is. Yeah, Adrienne, it's really similar to drugging a drink, but instead of dropping something into someone's beverage, you're using a needle to prick them. Typically, it's date rape drugs we're talking about here, the three common ones like ketamine, even fentanyl, which can be really dangerous, or rohypnol, which is a pretty common one. You might expect to see some disorientation, some trouble standing, some memory issues, really similar to the side effects of date rape drugs. If this sounds super unfamiliar to you, it's a two-part answer. One, it's not super common in the United States. It's a relatively recent phenomenon, and it's been in the UK and Ireland. We've seen 56 reported cases in September and October of this year. It's important to note that no toxicology results have come back and proven that somebody was actually drugged with something, but very similar to that security guard incident at Astroworld, police have noticed marks on the neck that line up with what you might get if you were injected with something. At least three women have been hospitalized in South Yorkshire, England alone. Three arrests were made last week. They're still trying to figure out who's doing this and why. Law enforcement are advising those who think they've been needle spiked to go to an emergency room as well as file a police report. Adrian. All right. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.